Hello, my name is Bryce Higginbottom. It is 11 p.m. on Tuesday night. I am here at my mother's house with my mother. Hello, Julia Gunn is my name. Dental hygiene is my game. Okay. So, it's clear that you're a dental hygienist, as you just stated. Um, how long have you been doing this? I've been a dental hygienist for over 20 years. Actually, I'm a dental hygiene instructor. I did start out as a dental assistant, then became a dental hygienist, and then an instructor. All right. Uh, what is your favorite and least favorite part of your job? My least favorite part of my job is getting up in the morning, because I'm a night person, as you can tell by the hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, but I have to say the least favorite part of my job would be... I have no idea. I'll just stick with my original thought. Mm -hmm. And your favorite part, you said, was... My favorite part of teaching dental hygiene would be to, when I see the light bulb go off and the student is successful and is excited about their accomplishment. Ah, so knowing that, you know, you're teaching them and they're growing as a person? And that they are succeeding. Okay. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. Did you aspire to be this? Is there anything that you wanted to be or you're not too sure that you wanted to do? Well, I always wanted to be a teacher. When I was a child, I used to play teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, I remember when I was eight years old, I was very excited because I received as a birthday gift some gold stars so that I could place them on my pretend tests. Mm. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then as I entered college, I volunteered in a combination, first and second grade class, actually here, mm -hmm. Westside, uh, Westlake School. And that's when I realized a couple of things. One was that there's a huge discipline aspect to being a teacher of young children, and I think probably all age groups, which I was ill-prepared for and not interested in partaking in at all. And two was there was not a huge demand for teachers at the time. Boy, has that changed. So, uh, I abandoned, abandoned my idea of becoming a teacher and took general education classes and then decided I needed to decide on mm -hmm. something that I could get a job at. So I went to the counseling office at Cabrillo College and I was looking through brochures and I saw dental hygiene. And then I read the brochure and there were a number of courses I had to take prior to getting into the program. So then I looked at another brochure and it said dental assisting. And I saw that I could immediately begin taking classes in the dental assisting program. And so that's what I chose to do to start. So, I understand that you have two kids, is this correct? Yes, it is. Okay. I what? have two sons. Mm -hmm. Two what? wonderful sons. And this is Bryce, my younger son. Good and this you. is Tristan over here. Tristan, would you like to come into view and introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Tristan Hickenbottom. Thank you. Nice to meet you. When did you know you were ready to have such brutes of a son? Well... You know, I don't think anyone really knows they're ready. Because, for one thing, no one really knows what they're getting into. The demand. The reality. <laughs> the sacrifice. <laughs> but uh, I'd say I, um, well, it was when I got married and had uh, my career started that uh, we decided it was time. So you knew that you were ready to settle down when, you know, you got everything sorted out? Or so I thought. I actually ended up going back to school and getting my master's after I oh. became a mother. Okay. Uh, did you want boys or girls or was there any, you know... Well, I was hoping for a boy and a girl. Originally, like, probably a number of people are like that. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And you got I, your wish. And now, <laughs> And uh, now that I have 
teenager plus one a little older. Well, let me put it another way. When I became a mother of teenagers, I was very grateful that I had boys and not girls. Oh, <laughs> so you're pretty much happy with the result? Very happy. Very yeah. pleased to have two boys. Alright. And lastly, what kind of music do you enjoy to listen to? Oh, I like a eclectic music. Any specifics? I like uh, classic rock. Good I choice. I like classical music. Mm -hmm. I like jazz. I like pop. I like I like a little bit of country. I you know so I like a, a lot of different genres of music. You sound kind of like someone who you know would enjoy to get up and you know shaking that thing. You bet you, baby. All right. Well, it was a pleasure to interview you. Yes, Hopefully I'll see you around sometime. Yes, it was uh, very nice. Right. You did a very nice job in Thank, Thank you so much. You have a lovely holiday. Go Taylor! Yeah! Swift! Good <laughs> life. Okay.